Hey everyone, it's Megan Elizabeth with AboveRubyStudio.com. Thanks for joining me for today's Tuesday tutorial. I haven't done a card in a while, it feels like, and I wanted to make a card. I found this transparency, um, and I'm not sure if this is actually going to work the way I think it's going to, but this is from, I believe it's a um, Simple Stories kit. It's one of the Simple Stories, um, and I really liked it. I thought it was cute, and I thought it would be like a really great way to say, like, I'm happy in your in. I'm happy you're in my life or something like that. Um, but it's just like a hello. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cute. So we're going to use this. I'm going to do um, some of the basic foundations. This is from Three Birds. This is an HSN exclusive. When I was there, um, Jenny from Craft Test, Test Dummies was uh, demoing and showing this on air. And it's awesome. I was so excited to get it. Um, and there's just so many things in here. There's the really trendy chevrons and swirls and hexagons and really awesome colors from your pastels, your teals, your bright primary colors. There's that chevron, looks so great. Um, dots and swiggles and stars. Really, really awesome stuff. Love the grid pattern. So many different things in here. So 108 sheets come in this uh, basic pack. It goes forever and you just, you know you're going to have the right color to pull out. And it really happens to be that I do because this um, orange chevron goes great with this card. I'm also going to be using an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper that I'm going to fold in half and I'm going to make a letter size card with it. <clears throat> and we're going to cut it out a little bit and kind of um, make a frame, I guess you could say, is what we're going to basically do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by folding it in half. Fold it in half. It's going to be a larger card, but I'm okay with that. And then what I want to do is kind of line up and see where I want this to go on my card. And I'm actually just going to grab a pencil and kind of sketch. And try to line it up that's, you know, pretty even and straight. The edge. Watch my head, sorry. I'm going to use my ruler to go right along the edge there. So now what I'm going to do with that is just cut this out by hand. Now you can get all precise, precise and cut it out. Um all different ways, but I'm just going to cut it out by hand using an X-Acto knife and my metal roller. Right along my pencil lines. And I'm really excited. This week I have several really fun things that I'm going to be talking about um, at AboveRubyStudio.com. This is the week of March 17th, 2013 at Above Rubies, if you're watching this at a later point in time. Um, but I have some fun party things going on and other cool announcements. I'm going to be traveling to uh, Pennsylvania again. And I have some cool things that are going to be happening there. All kinds of good stuff. All right. So that is trimmed out. <clears throat> now what I want to do is actually create... Um, oh, I should have probably done this. We'll mark it with the pencil. I should have measured... Um, we're going to make this the entire front of the card. And it's always better to make it a little bit bigger than too small. But that should be plenty of chevron. I'm going to have to cut out this just the same, but I'm going to do it this way. Excellent. I'm going to make this a little tiny bit smaller, just a tiny bit, than my other opening. Now what I thought I would do here is just glue this right into the center of this opening. And then I'm going to place this on top and it's going to be framed out and it'll kind of sandwich it in together and hide any adhesive or things that are stuck there. At least that's my thought. We'll see how this actually plays out. Alright, so I just ran tape around the whole entire outer thing, and now what I'm going to do is grab my 
Glue Glider Pro, and I'm going to go right along this very outer, outer edge. And I'm going the whole length, which you probably don't need to do, but because I'm doing this whole frame, I want it to like line up the best I possibly can. At least that's my thought. And I'm going to start from the fold end and come out because anything that's bigger, it will overhang like the other way. Um, I can deal with pretty easily um, and trim that a lot easier than I can if it's from the fold. So I'm starting from here, lining this up best I possibly can. And remember, this is a little bit smaller, so it's going to overlap some of the letters. Okay. So there's this part of the card which I think is really cute. Like the transparency to read that through is just awesome. And then you can still write on the inside. I wouldn't be too worried about being too distracted by what you put inside um, through there. I just think it's really, really going to be awesome. And then what you can do, or, or what I'm going to do, I have these really cool canvas stickers. These are from um, Little Yellow Bicycle. And they're adhesive back stickers that, um, like I said, are canvas. And I'm just going to put the bird that I think is so cute right down here. And I'm going to actually color on him using my Bic Market Markers. The Bics will bleed a little bit on the canvas, but it'll also look pretty cute, I think. And let's see what I'm going to do. This yellow, which is pretty orange. Yeah, you can see it kind of bleed just a tiny bit. fun to color in some canvas. You can use any different kind of marker. You can use alcohol markers on these two. Again, they'll probably bleed a little bit for the most part, um, but if you just stay away from that edge line a little bit, you can kind of blend it and make it work for you. And get a pretty even tone. Pretty darn cute. Pretty cute. Let's see. I kind of hesitate doing. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to do. This is really like green. Oh no, let's do the yellow. Okay, yeah, I'll make up my mind eventually. I'm going to do yellow here. Because that bleeding in will give it a nice little green bleed. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. I'm going to add a flower from Sassafras Last. These are some chipboard um, cardstock stickers. Cardstock stickers, rather. They're not chipboard. But I think they're kind of cute. Oh, wait, this one might be cuter. Let's see. Kind of, kind of, kind of, sort of like the colors. I don't necessarily want to do all four corners, but this might be kind of cute to do this kind of thing here. And then just for my final touch, I'm going to add a sparkle light. I think Chillax is going to be the perfect color for this. Let's see. Like maybe like right in the center. Yeah, that's perfect. Love it. All right, and then for my... Um, Sparkle Light, I'm gonna... my Glue Glider Pro, and this still has the Extreme Tack in here. If you just stick it right on the tip of your Glue Glider and peel back, you can see you get perfect amount of adhesive right on there, and then you can stick it down on your project, and it will hold and hold and hold and hold and hold. Very cool. Now this card's ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tuesday tutorial. Have an awesome day today, and I'll see you guys soon. Uh, later this week, we'll have more Check This Out videos. I think Tanner is going to be bringing us another TNT video, and um, I'll have some other fun things as well. Don't forget, it is the uh, last week in March to get your hands on the Megan Elizabeth Nesting Die Bundle um, at a super, super low price. It makes it less than $1.50 per die. Uh, that all comes in the bundle together. So that's pretty darn cool. All right, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you again soon at AboveRubyStudio.com. Bye-bye.